Okay, so guys, today we're going to do a how to install a bottom bracket and crank set on our donor right here. Okay, so let's get with it. You know, the bike's actually pretty light without. So we have here just a random, you know, there's nothing specific. I mean, this we is got, kind of hey, hey, quit <laughs> messing with my hooker. Okay, I like my hooker hanging around. All right. Hello. Okay, look. Okay, Speaking oh. of the devil. <laughs> Again, guys, stranger is not paying me or anything like that. It just so happens. Is it uh, Or Sabrosa. You know what? No. You know what? I like I like the Sabrosa stuff there. They're really cool to me. Shout out to Ron Bonner hooked me up with this thing. It's dope. It's dope, guys. It's just uh, conveniently somebody brought it in and we're like, hey, you know what? This is this is good. A lot a lot of you guys been requesting, so I'm gonna show it. So first of all, get bike on the stand. Make sure you got all your your parts. Notice right here, there's already a bottom bracket, but uh, no. it's a 19. So we got to hit that out. So. They don't sell this. I actually made this. For a minute. You guys see how there's a little lip right here? So the little the lip is so when you put it right here, it doesn't slip and damage this. So I made I made this. Yeah, in 2004. Put it in. Make sure you switch up and down. Do you recommend this if they're going to keep the bottom bracket? Uh, yeah, you could. You could because you know what? There isn't really a, a foolproof tool to remove bottom bracket. So, you know what? If you guys do it right and if you guys use the tool right, I mean, don't go and use a, a flathead screwdriver. And then when you guys put it inside, it's going to rest right there. It's going to punch out this part right here. And it's going to damage the, the bearing cage. This thing's not going to roll. Okay, don't do that. That's why I made this because when it sits right here, it's actually hitting on the whole bearing. It's not damaging anything. So when I put it in, I'm very, very careful. If you don't happen to have one of these guys, I mean, your dad, your dad, if, if you know, you guys have a dad, if anybody, <laughs> okay, you can use an extension. Wow. Okay. So I put an extension inside here and the extension is going to sit like this on the inside and hit it out. Okay. Yeah, you know, you're sacrificing that, so hit it out. So, you know, you remove this little uh, floating washer. I call it a floating washer. I don't know what the technical term is because it floats in there. It prevents the bearing from getting crushed. So you guys could see in here if there's lights, I'm resting this thing pretty straight in here. Boom, come out. Always clean your tools. Why is this wet? Uh, that is disgusting. Oh, well, that would be um, alcohol. Why? Because I need cleaners. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's even better. So, for if you're planning to reuse these, wipe it down. Always clean all the old grease and the dirt. Check it out. Still rolls good. Damn, that alcohol is strong. Okay, guys, I can't stress enough. I like to clean. All your stuff before you reinstall it okay wd-40 lighter fluid very good to clean what happened to the other one whatever <laughs> <laughs> must be nice yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well he's not using it he's not using it <laughs> while we're at it i'll just explain so then you know you guys want to make sure you guys clean all the dirt all the grime out you know okay <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to install the, the the new bearings grease Call you Pablo Fucasso. So these are 22 Stranger uh, mass cranks. Don't do that at home. You will get Corona. Guys, none of these, none of this. Okay. Uh, no, it's gonna damage this gotta use something like this and now if you guys don't have something like this and you guys and you guys gotta get it in fine that's fine the bearing right here because if you guys put it on here you guys hitting one spot it's gonna damage it so what I do again I take my my dad's tool not mine and damage my dad's tool I'll put it across right here so when you hit it it's more balanced or else you go get a two by four Real classic is what we used to do. Put a two by four in there and hit it. But because we're all grown up now, we got the proper tools. 
I like. I like. You only got that tool like two years ago. Admit it. One half. <laughs> so, I like to press my bearing in one at a time. So why? Because I like to use the, the frame right here as a guide to go in straight. You guys ever notice whenever you guys press two bearing in at the same time, it starts going in crooked? When it does that, it actually puts a lot of stress on the bearing. So I like to use this to frame as a guide. It'll take a little bit, it takes you a little bit longer, but... Literally twice as long. But the bearing is going to be a lot more uh, in better shape. We got in an argument last so time. So see, look, see how, see how this clamp? It sits on that frame, so it's it sits more flat. Question: That came off and went on very loose. So, do you think it's slightly enlarged? The the bottom bracket, yes, yes, because it's, it's an complete, older frame. And it's a complete bike, right? It's a complete bike, but but I've I've worked on complete bikes before, and it's it, it was hard to go in. It's because it's a used frame. You guys gotta imagine when you guys are standing on this, you guys are jumping on it. The bottom bracket's gonna get warped. It's old. You know, it's it's like a guy that's been in jail for a long time. Oh, when he comes out, he's <laughs> gonna, you know, you know, he's gonna be a little bit more loose. Oh, so this is very loose, okay? And that's why when I pass gas, you guys can't hear it. it smells like condoms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's our floating washer again. Now this is gonna cause some some argument. We normally don't put this thing in here. I'm not saying that's a wrong right, but the reason why I don't use it is because. Look, this whole box, they give you one size. But a lot of the bottom bracket guys, the shell right here, the width, I bet you when we measure every frame up there, they're all gonna be off by a little bit. So if they give you one size you put in, what if it's too wide and this thing starts moving? What if it's too narrow, this thing is, is too tight and it press the bearing out? In a perfect world, you wanna put this thing in, but, but in a perfect world, they'll give you it where it'll fit that frame. So for us, I don't use it. None of us use it. He doesn't use it. I don't use Max don't use it. Why? Because the bearing itself, it's already thick. It's it's very it's very uh, sturdy. On a European bomb bracket, no way. You gotta have this because the bearing's so small. But on some of these, they already come on the inside with a stopper. Remember? It it does come with a stopper. But it won't really protect the bearing. So anymore. so no, this this protects this part. Right, right. I get the that. The stopper stop this part right but if there was no stopper at all it would keep going in yes it would keep going in and some of you guys might measure this and it's the same width as the other one but the little stopper it's gonna be different so i'm, I'm gonna thought, thought for night for a video if this video gets five thousand likes Fu, max and i will fly to taiwan and go to a factory and see all the different size bottom brackets they have because when they make this frame there's probably like ten thousand of these all throughout a warehouse and then they weld them onto these frames yeah and then some of them, the tolerance could be off, but then they give you this one. It, it doesn't work. So for this one, guys, I know a lot, there's, there's gonna be guys gonna go, oh my God, oh my God, the tenacity of these guys. Nah, I don't care. Tenacity. Can you leave the country? I forget. Can I? Yeah. I can't because I, because I probably won't be able to come back. Damn it, so just me and Max can go? Yeah, yeah. You wanted to go to the Philippines last year or Vietnam, I forgot. I wanted to, but because I think, <laughs> they won't I, let because you back in. I think I was getting sued or something and I was like, you know what, I better get the hell out of here. Yeah, you weren't gonna come back. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I wasn't gonna come back, guys. All these vlogs would have been done like in a remote area. So again, I'm doing this other side now, one at a time, guys, one at a time. Notice mm -hmm. this is flat. Yeah, see, that went in way too easy. But again, it is an old frame, so you guys have to understand. It's crazy he got the axles to match the tires because of how rusty they are. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure he planted that. I'm pretty sure he planted that. I don't, you know guys, we don't even know whose bike this is. It was just a random customer. Curly, we'll call him, he that, had curly hair. <laughs> curly? Yeah. That brought it in, so we're like, hey, you know what? Perfect. He gets paid royalties, right? What's that? Yeah, I don't know. To be royal? So again, I want to clean up all this dust all this stuff because I don't want anything to get in bearing. So look at that, brand new, boom. Spacers, all that, I gotta get all this stuff ready, all this stuff ready. Guys, if you guys know how I work things here, I'm straightforward, I'm, I, don't, I don't cover- Everything's landing on me. I don't cover anything up, I don't, I don't have a stage, this is how I work, okay? So- You were also raised in a jungle. Keep in mind also guys, remember I explained to you, why is there two sides bottom bracket? The big side is always the non-drive side. The little side is the drive side. Why? Because if you put this 
and the this the the gear on now look it's going to be the same thickness look at that guys see it is the same <laughs> not even close it, it, it is the same it's missing the adapter so, so, so that's, about the hat so that's why the hat washer that's why okay okay get off me man okay get off me where's that so guys a lot of the sprocket that comes it comes with a 24. So since this is 22, we gotta put a hat washer on. You guys always forget, slides in with the hat washer facing out. Put on this. Forgot, forgot. Uh, a little bit, a little bit. Screw that. You, some of you guys, oh my god, it takes food forever. You know what? If I wasn't sitting here explaining to this to you guys, it would take a little bit faster. But, but you know what? I, I want to take my time. I mean, you, you're wearing your aerodynamic hair, so obviously you can go fast. Aerodynamic? <laughs> the Dallas that soon commercial. No, the, uh, the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys notice this is, this is a right hand drive. So. After I install that hat washer, I'm gonna put the not the drive side spacer, which is smaller, in. Then we grease this up. Grease. So you guys notice I only grease a little bit of it where the spline is. Why? Because once I put this thing in right here, it's gonna to spread the grease right here. You guys notice also this is a this is one of those two-piece crank. Guy wanted a two piece, so I don't have to worry about any nuts and bolts here. See that? See that? I've been watching a lot of the Bruce Lee thing. You know, he does he does that little punch, that little. Mm. But he screams. You didn't scream. No, I, I did. You just didn't hear it. Ah. <laughs> You're gonna scream. Yeah, I was like, ah. <laughs> okay. So now that's in. Okay. Check the clearance, because even though I put all the spacers that I assume, you always want to check this. Make sure it clears. That's about the good clearance. You don't want it too close because it will flex a little. This is a good clearance. So now I go up to this side. Bigger spacer for non-drive. Okay. So because this is spline, this is going to be the hardest part for you guys to align it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is they gave us some extra spacer. That does not mean you're going to stack all this on. Why do they come chrome? I don't know i don't know but yes they come there's not chrome polish yeah, but i don't know but but just because they give you all this does not mean you have to use all of it this is again to custom custom tailor to a different frame see guys again why do they give you all this to adjust but then that little floating washer they don't give you cheap so case. yeah so this we're going to use this maybe later but this is what i'm going to do to test the clearance remember how over here i had it like this to test that this size equal what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna randomly put it in. You know, it's not it's not straight. Look, it's not straight. I'm, I'm I don't want it to be straight. Right now, I don't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put put this over here and look. Look 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 how much space there is. There's a lot of space. The other side doesn't have that much space. So that this right here is it's too big but do i want to get rid of this no because it has a good look right here so on circumstances like this i'm going to put a little bit more spacers on the other side to equal it out just because i'm ocd like that all right guys so i'm going to hit this back out guys this is a mallet use a mallet to hit that you do not use a hammer to hit that okay mallet Real softly. So I'm gonna pull this back out. Look at that magic. It just stays there. Grease. So remember, all the spacer, because that side did not match, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna just ballpark it as this little guy. Put this in here. Granted. Right after the hat washer, make sure the hat washer is flat so then your sprocket is squared. Slide this back through. All 
All right. See now it's a little bit wider. Now I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try square this. You want it to be. I'm gonna make sure the the spine clicks in. And if you got look, see it's a little off, a little cockeyed. So I'm gonna get it out. I'm going to. Sometimes, guys, the spine's a little off. There you guys go. Perfect. It should it should snap into place. If it doesn't snap into place, don't force it. So there, it's squared off. Okay. So now that's in. Get a uh, bottom bracket installer thing of a majig. Does this crank come with this tool? You know what? I think it does. I think uh, I think we needed some beer money one day, so we just took it out and sold it to somebody. <laughs> so so that's why it didn't have it. So this is it. This thing slides in. Okay, guys, I'm. Gonna, it's a crank puller, but it's also installer, right? It's a crank puller installer. When, when it's a puller, you actually don't need this piece. You just screw this one in. You want to screw it into the bottom side and you hit this, it pushes the, the spindle through. So when you install it, you put this piece on. You know, you want to put, again, anything that moves, you want to do this. You're gonna slide this over because look, the it's gonna go here and see how see how this little indentation. It's going to go into here. It's gonna go here, and as I tighten this, it's gonna pull the spindle through. Look at this behemoth. So you know, you know the, uh, you know that soundtrack. Uh, he works hard for mm -hmm. his money. You should do that. You should do that. Just, you should, yeah, yeah. You should play that. Yeah, yeah, you should play that. But that'd be funny. Yeah. You just go like this. He works hard for his money. Me, 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 me. Hard for Literally, money. no one was born before that. <laughs> See, it closes up. Everything closes up. Everything snug. Give it a little. I mean, guys, don't like. Ah, oh! that's it. It's snug. Look at that space. Look at that space. Beautiful. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out. Everything's all everything's all squared up. Take this back out now. See, it's warm. This is all because of the friction. A lot of you guys use this and you guys don't put any uh, any grease in here. It's it super hot. You see all the metal shaving and stuff like that? That's not good, guys. Okay. Again, again, guys. After using each tool, that goes for you, Alf, because you never did it. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. I remember you used to pay Hunter. <laughs> Maybe. To, dude, you 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 know what? Uh, you guys don't even know your boy Alf right here. I had other priorities. I was trying to build an epic yeah. online web empire. Yeah. So see, it's all clean. So now when you when you use the next, it's all clean for you. Okay. Put your tools away. Okay. So now everything's all there. Look, spin this. Everything's all straight. Everything's all square. Again, guys, we gotta put that bolt in. Grease. I see there's Loctite on there. Uh, you don't wanna put it because there's Loctite. No, 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 no. You, want, you want the grease. You guys don't know, I'm cheap. I'm a cheap guy, all right? You know? But, but the grease is so important. So, this oversized bolt's at eight. Look, it's all greased up. Put this guy in, guys. Now, screw by hand first. See that? When you get, when you get several turns in, that means the thread is good. If you go and you start putting it in with a tool and you force it in, you can't feel that's going in smooth and you're gonna force it in. Because that we installed it with the tool, it's already in, it's already snug. This thing right here, you wanna give it a, a good snug there, and look at this. Contrary to, to, to belief where people go, look, that's not smooth, that's not smooth. Bearings itself, the bearings that are like super, super smooth, like spinning and all that, they're loose. They're not good quality. Bearings are good quality because it was like this, but once you put heavy weights on it, it'll be a lot smoother. Okay, so now pop the chain on. Look guys, I couldn't do my hair today because I ran out of hair gel. You know, pomade. Suavecito, whoever wants to sponsor this great mane right here, 
Give me something. Give me something so I can do my hair, all right? This all, that's all this guy does is mess around. And look, put it on. Careful, guys. Not like this. You can get your finger cut <laughs> off. Get right here. And look, crank it through. Pull back. Do one side first. Make sure this side's tight. One side first. And then what I do is I look in the back. If you guys look in the back, you guys can see a little bit. You guys line up the wheel. You can see a little bit of the, the bottom bracket. That's how I size it. I look right here. I look right here. Tighten one side only. And this side right here, if I need to pull it, I'll pull it over. If not, I'll push it over. But it's pretty straight. Tighten this side. And then I vice this side down. Mm. It's squared. I don't think he had pedals. Did he have? No. He did not. No. Oh, Th are... These is pedals? Were well, these is pedals? Okay, guys. We're almost done. I'm just going to throw this in as a little consolation prize for you guys. How to install uh, pedals. You guys ready for that? You guys ready for that? Remember, the little grooves. Remember what I told you guys? The little grooves is what? Left side. Non-groove is right side. 15. He's just mangling his pedal. Mm. Chain's tight, guys. Bikes itself. It's good. There you have it. How to install cranks. You know what? I've been watching your, your other channel about the investment. I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. i have uh, pretty motivated to do some investment. You know you got guys? Check out his other channel. Next yeah. up, my third channel is going to be how to get foo out of jail. <laughs> why? What's, why? Why am I going to jail? We'll see. <laughs> but look, guys, look. And you know what? The bounce test, the bounce test, no rattling. You know, the bunny hop. It's all good. All right. Hey, call the customer. Tell him to come get his bike. His bike's done. We're out of here. You have no employees right now, so it's just you. You gotta call them. <laughs>